So, you want to be a map maker, eh? Well, listen up, because it's not as easy as you think it is. But don't worry, I'm going to help you. So, all maps need command blocks. To work functionally, you need a good set of command block knowledge. So today, we're going to be starting with command blocks. Now, command blocks aren't typically found in a creative mode inventory, so what you want to do is load up the chat and type in slash give your name C-O-M-M, -M, press tab on your keyboard, press enter and you'll get yourself a command block. Now, command blocks have many different properties. So if we just go inside of the command block here, you can see we have another command line. We also have impulse, unconditional, and needs redstone. In the game, there are three types of command blocks. Impulse, chain, and repeating. All three of these command blocks have different properties. For example, the impulse command block will only run once, unless more redstone signals are passed through it. The chain command block can be run in chains without using redstone lines, meaning you can have neater, tidier, and close together command blocks. The repeating command block repeats the same command over and over again. It can also be used in conjunction with chain command blocks. Something I forgot to mention in the video, uh, if you want to switch between these three types of command blocks, um, open up the command block and there'll be a button that either says impulse, repeat or chain. Click on that and it will let you change which type of command block you want to be using. Just a bit of a side note, this series won't be going over how to do commands, it will be going over how to do command block work and making Minecraft maps. If you want help with making commands work, all you have to do is go into your Minecraft game and type help and you'll get a list of absolutely everything. Really, really useful stuff here, so definitely check that out if you get stuck with any commands or of course there's online websites but i'm sure i can help now for this example i'm going to show you a way that command blocks can be used in a map so here we have a simple parkour course and if i go and kill myself what you will see is that i will respawn at the start of the parkour map right here now as you can see we have a command block over here and if i go and complete this totally not easy parkour if i press this button you can see in the bottom of the screen, it now says spawn point set to these coordinates for the Happy Wheels 1. Now, if we go inside this command block, which command blocks can only be opened in creative mode, you can see that we have slash spawn point, nearest player, that's the app P again, and the coordinates. And then you can see we got previous output, and then that shows set spawn point for the Happy Wheels 1. And that would be the player's name of the person it set the spawn point for. Now, one thing you need to know about uh, command blocks, they don't have to be powered directly. You can have a button here, and because this button is powering this block, it's therefore sending a signal through into the command block, and that's how that works. So the way I did this is I chose where I wanted my spawn point to be, and the easiest way to get coordinates in Minecraft is to do set block, and then get the coordinates like that. And that will give you the exact coordinates of the block. Reason I say this is because using the coordinates um, method in the F3 menu cannot be reliable at times. So do set block and grab the coordinates. You can use copy, which is control C or command C and then press escape. And then all you have to do is grab your command block and do slash spawn point and then at P and then paste in your command with uh, coordinates with control V or command V and just press done. And then anytime somebody grabs a button and goes along and presses that command block, you will see that their spawn point will be set, as you can see in the chat. So if we just go ahead and slash kill, and here you go, we spawned exactly where we wanted to be, right on this block. So that's how you can use command blocks in your maps. So for this final example, I'm going to show you a bit more about the execute command. So, in this example, we have a piece of red wool and a dispenser. When I stand on this, as you can see, we get shot with arrows. Now, these arrows aren't anything bad. We're only going to get hit by one arrow at a time. But as you can see, it's kind of like a trap. Now, if we were to change these arrows and put different arrows in them, for example, instant damage, then stand on the red, you can see we take a lot more damage. Now, if you've noticed throughout this video, in the bottom left, we're getting changed block at. Now, you don't really want that in a map because it looks messy. So to sort that, just do game rule. Then you want to do send command feedback false. Now, if you're map making, I recommend turning that on. Um, turn that off as a last minute resort. If you still want to see your command feedback, then change that to true. And instead of doing command block feedback, just do uh, command block output false. And then you'll still see. So if I was to now give me beef, 
for example. You can still see it says give to beef, but if I now stand on here, we don't get all of the mess in chat. I forgot that was going to happen. So before we end off this video, let me show you guys how I made this work. So all you need are three command blocks, you need a repeating command block, and two chains. To set this up, all you're going to want to do is place down a repeating, two chains, go inside of here, make that conditional. So you should have a command block that looks like this, that's repeating. You should have a command block that looks like this, that's a chain. And you should have a command block that looks like this, which is chain and unconditional. Again, make sure this one is conditional. Now, all you're going to want to do is place down a block of your choice, and all you have to do is type execute, and then you want to do at all players if block, and then you want to do tilde, 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 go to your middle one and do minus one, and then type the block name. So in this instance, it's red underscore wall. And then you don't need to do anything else. Highlight the command with Control or Command A, and then copy the command with Command or Control C. Press Escape on your keyboard, go into this command block, and do a paste. Then all you have to do is change this to Always Active and press Done. Now what we need to do is we need to go and get the coordinates of this block. So using the same technique as earlier, do Set Block, and then grab the coordinates, highlight them, copy them, press Escape, remove this block, go into your command block and do that then you want to do slash set block just like that and then we can do a redstone underscore block and what that will do is it will make the dispenser activate now to speed up time copy the command with control a and control c go to your final command block paste it in and just replace redstone block with air and now what you'll see is every time i stand on this uh, red wall the dispenser will activate. It doesn't matter where you put the red wall. So long as you're standing on red wall, the dispenser will activate. So guys, just make sure if you want to do different things, make sure you use different blocks. If you wanted to have, say, a door open, make sure you don't use red wall. Because if you use red wall to make a door open, that dispenser's gonna fire. So guys, really hope that helped you out today. If there's anything you're still confused about, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to help you out. If you want me to come back to Command Blocks one day and maybe do some more work on it, which I'm sure I will, but if you want anything in specific, again, let me know in the comments and I'll try and make an episode of that for you. But guys, I'm probably going to have to go and plan the next episode now because I don't know what to do. Hope this helped you guys and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!